So Thursday is known as the day of preparation. This is the day that Jesus and the disciples prepare for what is about to come. It is on this day that Jesus teaches the most important principle that disciples need to learn, and that is, is that a true follower of Jesus is called to be a servant, not to be served. It's also on this day that Judas Iscariot will betray Jesus with a kiss, and Jesus will begin six trials, three before the religious leaders and three before the Roman leaders. In Matthew 26, this is what the Bible tells us. It was on the day of unleavened bread that one of the disciples went to Jesus and said, Master, where do you want us to prepare the Passover meal? And Jesus said, well, I want you to go into the city and you will find this man. Tell him that the teacher's time has come and that he would like to have his meal with his disciples in his house tonight. So the disciples did exactly as Jesus asked. And they went into the city and prepared the Passover meal. Well, that evening, as they sat around the table and they were eating, Jesus said to them, What I'm about to tell you is true. One of you will betray me to my enemies. The disciples were surprised and they said, Lord, is it me? Is it me? And Jesus said, It would be better for the one who betrays me to have never been born. And then Judas Iscariot, the one that would betray him, said, Lord, is it me? And Jesus answered, yes, it is you. Jesus then took the bread and he broke it and he passed it out to the disciples and he said, this is my body, take and eat in remembrance of me. He then took the cup and he passed it out and he said, all of you drink of it for this cup represents the new covenant that I am providing so that sins can be forgiven for many. Take it and drink, for I will not drink of this cup again until I am with you in my kingdom. Once they were done, Jesus and the disciples sang a song together and they went up to Mount of Olives. They then traveled in to Gethsemane. And at Gethsemane, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and he went a little further away and he said, come watch and pray with me for my soul is, is very sad. And Jesus then knelt and he prayed. And he said, Father, take this cup from me. Not my will, but your will be done. He walked over to the disciples and they were asleep. He said, Peter, could you not just watch for one hour? Could you not pray? with me. Pray, lest you fall into temptation. And then he went back and he started to pray again. And he said, Father, take this cup from me, not my will, but your will be done. And he went back and again, the disciples were asleep. Jesus went back and prayed again and said the same thing. And when he got back to where the disciples were, he said, get up. For the betrayer is on his way. And while Jesus was still talking, Judas walked up to him and said, Greetings, teacher, and kissed him. And Jesus said, Do what you must do. And then they began to arrest him. And one of Jesus' disciples took his sword and he cut off the ear of the servant of one of the religious leaders. And Jesus said, Stop. Don't you know that my father could send 70,000 angels to take care of me? This is happening in order to fulfill scripture. And in that moment, all of the disciples fled. They left him and they grabbed Jesus and they arrested him. And he said, why is it that you are coming at me with swords and clubs? Did I not teach with you in the synagogue and in the temple courts daily? And they took him off. Well, when Jesus was sent before the religious leaders, they said, are you really the son of God? And Jesus said, yes, it is as you say. But I tell you, you will see the son of man sitting at the right hand of the mighty one. And you will see him coming on a cloud. 
And at that, the religious leaders tore their clothes and they said, blasphemy, he must die for what he has done. And they sent him off to die. This is the word of God. <laughs> 